Welcome to SunPower Equinox Pro Tips. This video will demonstrate how to properly ground your SunPower Equinox system. For the purpose of this demo, we are assuming that Invisimount rails, the rail-mounted J-Box or RMJ, and home-run conduit with wiring or UF cables have all been installed and the checklist with photos completed. For this task, you'll need a torque wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, a 7 16th inch socket, lineman's pliers, Buchanan crimp tool, Invisimount ground lug assembly, row to row grounding clips, 6 AWG copper wire, type UF cable, a rail mounted J box or RMJ, and Buchanan splice caps and splice cap insulators. Begin by installing the Invisimount ground lug assembly. Position the ground lug assembly so it is both near the rail mounted J box and under the footprint of the completed array. Determine your lug orientation via the lug position versus junction box position and strain relief position. Slide the rail nut into the end of the top channel of a rail. Position the washer directly over the rail nut and then use the bolt to attach the lug to the rail nut by finger tightening the bolt and then using a 10 millimeter socket and torque wrench to tighten. Attach the ground wire to the lug and route the wire into the RMJ using the gland fitting provided. Be sure the bare copper wire does not come in contact with any of the aluminum components in the system. Use the 7 16th inch socket and torque wrench to tighten the lug screw to 35 inch pounds. Use the Buchanan crimp tool and crimp sleeve to attach the ground wire to the equipment grounding conductor in the J-Box. In order to bond rows of modules and rails together, use one row-to-row -row or R-to-R -R grounding clip between every row of modules. The R2R grounding clip provides a grounding path between rows of modules that are not mounted on the same rail pair. After fully attaching the rows of modules, with the bolt heads up, slide the clip into place between the rows of modules so the teeth come into contact with the frame of the modules from both rows. Tighten the bolts to 85 inch pounds using a 10 millimeter socket and torque wrench. The row to row grounding clips create a bond between rows of modules and rails without having to use additional ground lugs and bare copper wire. Your SunPower Equinox system is now grounded. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, check out the video description for links and helpful resources and other training videos.